is up guys, Phoenix here, and welcome back to our Pixar tutorial for Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. So where we last left off, we did a bunch of the framework and we're just gonna finish it up today. So let's just jump right into it without any um, hesitation. So we're gonna go back up to the top left side where we should have some two vertical waiting here and on the right side is about the even height. And let's see where we're at. We have three, three, two, one, two, perfect. And what I wanna do from there is we're gonna start one of the left pigtails. So we're gonna switch over into our red wool and we're gonna go up and to the left from here, one single, like so. Then we're gonna up and to the left, two vertical. And that's where we're gonna kind of jump in. If you've seen the thumbnail, you notice that it has red and then black and then the tips are red. So we're gonna switch back into black now. And what I wanna do from this two red right here is we're gonna put two black on top, one, two. Then on the first black we place, we're gonna put one to the left. So you should have something that looks like this. Next, we're gonna work with the blacks over here and just to complete the pigtails and eventually come back around here. So what we're gonna do is go down to the left, two flat, two times in a row. One, two, placement block, one, two. And then gonna go down to the left, four singles. One, two, three, four. down into the left two flat one two down to the left two vertical one two and what you should have should look like this you see we have two two one 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 two and two again and now we're almost at the tips where we're gonna start the red so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go down to the left three vertical one two three and from that three vertical, we can actually start transitioning into the red. So we're gonna put a red underneath it, like so. And then we're gonna work with the red for a bit. Um, actually, I want to work with the black because it's easier to work with the black while we're right here. So what I wanna do is from the bottom block in this three vertical, we're gonna go down to the left from it, one single. Down to the left, two vertical. Up and to the left. Uh, six vertical sounds about right. Let's try that. If I make any mistakes, I'll just fix it later. But for now, we're just kind of shaping it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can actually reach the other side of it when we come back to it. But for now, we don't have to. Hmm, do I want to work with this? Let's see. Two, three, one. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Actually, um, delete that six. We'll come back to it later. So just keep the three, one, two. And we're going to go with the red. The reason I say come back to it is because if I want to make any edits, I can make it when we get to there. But for now, I want to get the red done. So after this one single red, we're going to go down to the left from it, three vertical. One, two, three. Down to the left, 11 vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we're almost at the tip already. This pixel is fairly small, which is why I like it. We're going to go down to the right, four vertical. One, two, three, four down into the right three, then two, then one. So we have four, we're gonna do three, two, one. So just follow that pattern and that'll be the tip. So one, two, three, placement block, one, two, placement block, and then one. Very easy to do. Now from there, this is where it gets hard to branch out. Um, we're gonna go to the, let's see, four, three, two, um, we're gonna go to the one and I want to make it longer now So we're gonna add an extra one below it So it becomes two and then we're gonna go down into the right one single from there So it becomes an extra couple of blocks longer. So instead of four three two one we have four three Two two then one and these are all at diagonals none of them collect connected directly Sorry if this is a bit confusing um, Not really doing too well explaining things today, but hopefully it's good enough Now we're gonna go to the three vertical we have so right here, and below it, we're gonna add an extra one. So it kind of touches down with the two vertical over here. Then from that one single we just placed down, we're gonna mark it. So that's the one we just added to the bottom. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put one placement block on top of it. So you see how we have two placement blocks now, kind of just touching. We're gonna up and to the left from that placement block, one single. And if you wanna know directly where we're at, it's the middle block in the three vertical we had. See, this is the original three vertical. And we just put one block to the left of the middle block. From there, we're gonna go down to the left, two vertical. Down into the right, two vertical. 
So it should look like this. And now from this newly formed shape, we have these two sets of two. And what you're gonna do is with the first set of two we went with, so this one right here, we're gonna double it up by putting an extra one to the left of each of them. So one, one. We're then gonna go up and to the left two single. One, two. Up and to the left two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. Up and to the left three vertical. One, two, three. Up and to the left six vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now here's where we kind of reached uh, the tip. So it's gonna come back into the, the hair bang or whatever you wanna call it. So what we're gonna do is go up into the right one single and then we'll get ready to switch back into black wool. So if you wanna add a little bit extra detail right here, we can go to the bottom of the left side of the tip right here where we have these two verticals and on the top lock into two vertical, we're gonna put one to the left just to thicken it up a bit. And now let's fly back to the top. So from this single, we're gonna go up into the left from it, one single black hole. And then from that black hole, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put three on top of it. One, two, three. We're next gonna go up into the right one single. Down into the right three vertical. Up into the right two vertical. Up into the right three vertical. One, two, three. So now what we have is four, one, three, two, three. We're then gonna go up and to the right one single again. And we're getting ready to bring it back down now. So all we're gonna do from there is just go down into the right until we're two past this this um, two vertical right here. So we wanna hit like get even with it and then go two below it. So we wanna stop right here. So just extend it down into the right. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Now for those of you in a rush, all of this stuff down here is gonna be colored in red so you can color it in. But for those of you who wanna get back to the frame, we'll do that right now. Let's go back to the left side where we have this four vertical right here, right before the single. And we're gonna work with this. The two center blocks are gonna get one to the left of each. And then above there, like you see, we have these two centers and now we have just the one single chilling right here. We're gonna add six blocks to the top of that one single. So one, two, three, four, five, six. From there, we're gonna go up and to the right, two single, one, two. Up and to the left, one single. Up and to the right, three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three. One, two, three. Up and to the right, two vertical, two times in a row. One, two, one, two. And as you can see, it's like a lowering pattern. We started with bigger numbers and slowly getting smaller because we're rounding off the top. So what we're gonna do is go up and to the right, two single. And now we're translating into flats. So we're gonna be doing flats until we reach back down on the opposite side. So we're gonna go up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row now. One, two. Placement block on the right side, and then two flat again. As you can see, they're only touching at the diagonals. These aren't directly touching each other. And now for the top of the bang right here, we're gonna go up and to the right four flat, and then seven flat. So make sure you put everything on the right side. One, two, three, four. Placement block. One, whoops, I missed that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So that's the highest point in this left bang, and now we can just bring it back down and complete that shape. So we're gonna go down into the right, which means you move your placement block underneath, or you can just keep it on the right side, doesn't matter. One single. Down into the right, three flat. One, two, three. Then from the last block in that three flat, we're just gonna put one underneath it to make it too long. We're then gonna go down into the right, two singles. One, two. And from those two singles, we're gonna start making this meet back down there by going down and to the left. So on the second single block, we're just gonna put one to the left of it to complete the L shape like we have here. We're then gonna go down and to the left, two singles. One, 
to down into left two vertical and the bottom block in that two vertical is just gonna get one to the left now meeting up because you see how we have the red right here there's some more red on the top side that we haven't touched yet which we're gonna do right now so from this corner piece sticking out we're gonna go down into the right one single with red down into the right two vertical But we still need to get this to kind of meet up with what we have over here. Or what we can do is get the, the black to kind of outline it for us. Which I think we'll just get the black to outline it for us. So we'll switch back to our black wool. And we'll go to where we have this two vertical right here. And we're going to put two extra to the right of the top one. So one, two. We're then going to go up and to the right. Two vertical from there. Up and to the right. Three single. One, two, three. Up into the right two vertical. One, two. And as you can see, it closed out the shape now. So this entire area inside is going to be red. But we're going to keep moving on and finishing up the rest of the face. We already got the left side done now. So let's move over to the right side and hopefully get that finished as soon as possible. So we're going to up into the right two flat two times in a row. One, two. One, two. Up into the right four flat. One, two, three, four. Up and to the right, three flat. One, two, three, easy. And this is like the top of one of the arches in the head, so we're gonna have to drop down just a tiny bit and then rise back up again. So let's go down into the right, four flat. So underneath it, one, two, three, four. We're still dropping down, so we're gonna go down into the right, so get your block underneath. Three flat, one, two, three. And this is just the lowest of the dip, so we're gonna come back up now and get as high as we are over there. <laughs> Or just a little bit higher, maybe. So we're going to up and to the right. Two flat. One, two. Up and to the right. Three flat. One, two, three. And then up and to the right. Seven flat. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Make sure you count everything out correctly. As you can see, we're almost meeting up with the right side, which is perfect, because then all we have to do is the right pigtail, and it will do the inner eyes, and then we will be done. So let's go down into the right now, which means we're moving to place some block underneath. So we're going down to the right three flat. One, two, three. Down into the right one single. Down into the right three flat again. One, two, three. So if we have three, one, then three. Make sure you're always cleaning up your dirt blocks just so that they don't cloud up your workspace. Now, we're going to go down into the right. One single. And this is where the pigtail will start. But I figure to do the outline like we kind of did last over there, first over here, just so we can have the head shape locked in just in case I need to pause the video or something. So we're going to go down to the right. Two vertical. Down to the right. One single. So we have one, two, one. Down to our two vertical again. So now it's very repetitive. We have one, two, one, two. But how are we gonna reach that corner? Very easy. We're just gonna go down into the right, four singles from where we're at. One, two, three, four. And as you can see, it touched down on the diagonal perfectly. So now all we have to do is finish the pigtail, which is gonna be used with light blue wool. We're done with the red wool, unless you're coloring it in. So switch over to your light blue wool, and what we're going to do is find the first two vertical that's after our single right here, and we're going to put one light blue next to it on the right side, right there. See, the first two vertical. <laughs> and actually, I think cyan might have been the color that I should have been using. Um, let me check real quickly. Sorry if you hear any weird mouse clicks. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be using cyan. Yep, I'm supposed to be using cyan, guys. So we're going to switch to cyan real quick. Get rid of that light blue. Get out of town. And there we go. Here's the cyan wool, so swap it out. Cyan is a lot more, I guess. It looks better on her because her, her, her color palette is really strong, I guess. So anyways, from that one single cyan, we're going to up and to the right three flat. So placement block. One, two, three. We're then going to switch over to our blacks, and we're going to put one after that. And from that one black, we're going to put two on top. And that's where we will continue to pigtail once we finish outlining the cyan area right here. So we're going to go down on the bottom right here. And we're going to go down into the right. Two singles. One, two. 
And my controller turned itself off. Hold up, guys. I got this. So after those two singles, however, we're going to go down into the right. Two vertical. Down into the right, one single. And then down to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. However, we're not finished bordering it off yet. So what we're going to do is switch to our cyan wool. And where we have the five flat right here, we're going to go all the way to the left side. Put a placement block to the left of the final block. Then put a cyan underneath there because we're going to go down and to the left. Three singles. So one, two, three. Perfect. So you see it's connected diagonally to the five single we have right here. And you can color in this entire area with cyan if you want. But we're going to finish off the hair ponytail first. So we're going to work with the five flat we have right here. And we're going to go down and to the right. Three flat. So place some block underneath. One, two, three. Down and to the right. Two singles. One, two. Down and to the right. Two flat. And from that two flat, we're gonna take the second block and put two scions going right underneath it. So one, two. And that's where we're gonna start the very pointy part of our hair that's made of cyan wool. So we're gonna go down into the right, three vertical. Down to the right, 12 vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And here's where we reach the tip. We're gonna go down into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. Down to the left, two vertical. One, two. And from the bottom block and the two vertical we just placed, we're gonna put one underneath and one to the left. That kind of rounds out the bottom right there. Um, I suggest we go around now from the top and make it meet up with what we have here just to make it easier on ourselves. So let's fly all the way back up to where we have the three vertical kind of waiting right here. And we're going to switch back to our black hole. And we're going to go up and to the right from here. Three single. One, two, three. Up and to the right, three flat. One, two, three. Up and to the right, five flat. One, two, three, four, five. And let's start going down into the right now and just curving it inward. So first, we're going to go down into the right. So put your place block underneath or to the right side, four flat. Continuing this pattern, we're going to go three flat. So one, two, three. Down into the right, one single. So we have five, four, three, one. And then we're going to go down into the right, two. So those last two are kind of in the wrong order. It should have been five, four, three, two, one. But the way this blueprint goes, it's going to be five, four, three, one, and then two. Now, we're going to go down into the right, one single. And we're going to translate over into verticals now. So we're going to go two vertical first off, three times in a row, just to get the shape um, going. So two vertical just like this at the diagonal. And we're going to do that three more, I mean two more times, because we need three of them. And this is the first one. One, two, three. Now we're going to go down to the right, four vertical. Down to the right, nine vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this is the farthest point to the right, so we're going to start curving down into the left and meeting up with what we have there. So underneath the nine vertical, we're going to put two cyans going straight down. We're then going to go down into the left, three vertical cyan. One, two, three. Down to left, two vertical, three times in a row. So let's get the first one going, like so. Whoops, so many extra blocks accidentally placed. There we go. So that's the first one, and we need three of them. So that's one, here's two, and there's three. Now to finish this off, we're just going to go down to the left, three singles. One, two, three. And we're close enough now to just put the minor detail in and finish this off. So from the final single, we're going to put one to the left and one below that. So we have this weird R shape. And from the top left block in that weird R shape, we're gonna go up into left one single. And then down to left two vertical. But if you noticed, we already have one of the blocks down to the left, so just add in another one there. So this is where the two vertical should go. This block was already here. So we just need to add this one underneath it. And that borders off ponytail number two. Now, the only thing we need to fix is there's no black outline separating this ponytail from the blue part right here. 
So we're gonna switch back to our black hole and just outline that right now. Starting with the two flat we have on this left side. So from that two flat, we're gonna down to the right from it, one single. Down to the right, two vertical. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, two vertical again. So it's just an alternating pattern. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We're gonna go down into the right three vertical. One, two, three. But for this next part, we're gonna have to go above the three vertical and we're gonna end up adding, I believe it's five blocks to the top of it. One, two, three, four, five. And the way you know you did it properly is if it ends on the same block as this two vertical. You see it end at the same height? That means you did it correctly. So from this top block, we're gonna up and to the right, one single, down and to the right, two vertical, down to the right, two vertical again. We're almost done. There's only like two more rows to do. So we're gonna down to the right, four vertical, one, two, three, four. And from that four vertical, we're gonna go to the top block and put one going up and to the right from it. And that just seals off the border. And that means both ponytails are done. And now let's just do the inner face detail. Um, we do have some heart stuff and the teeth to finish, but that can be done in a easy fashion. So we'll probably finish everything right now. So let me just zoom out so you can see it and we'll start in a second. Okay, so working through the inner details now, what we're gonna do is work our way from the top to the bottom. So we're gonna do the crease in her head, the eyes, nose, teeth, and then the extra hearts and stuff on the side, and then we'll be done. So starting with the white wool on the left side is where we're gonna start first. And we're gonna put five on top of this original block. Actually, do we want five? Hmm. I think we're actually gonna just put four on top because we already have one right here. So let's put four on top of this block. One, two, three, four. Then working with the top block right here, we're gonna put one to the left and then put 10 on top of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We're then gonna highlight the top three blocks here. So one, two, three. And I know this is a little bit weird, usually I do the frame first, but it's so much easier just to put the white and then outline it with black. So what we're gonna do is put one white to the right of each of these, like so. And then on top of it, we're gonna add an extra three going up. From there, we're gonna outline the top three again. So those ones hanging by themselves. And we're gonna put one to the right of each of them. One, two, three. And then an extra two on the top. So this pattern goes on for quite some time and it just goes all the way across to the other side. We're eventually gonna be flattening out, but for now, we're just gonna outline the top block. So this very top block is gonna get one to the right of it. And then we're gonna get three on top of that. One, two, three. After that, we're gonna do another set of four. You see how these are four blocks? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the top three and put one to the right of each of those. And then put one on top of that. Now the top two are gonna get one to the right of each of them as well. And we're almost into the flat zone right here. We're technically in the flat zone, but there's gonna be some verticals being mixed in here. So once you have those two verticals placed to the right, or just the top two having two, I mean one to the right of each of them, sorry. We're gonna go to the top block there again and put two to the right of that. Hopefully this isn't too confusing or you guys can just rewind and slow down the video if you need to. Um, I'm trying to do my best here. It's very complicated part. It's like not very easy to explain, but we're gonna go to the end two right here. We're then gonna put two on top of each of them. So one, two, one, two. Oops, two. And those are the new blocks that were just placed. Let me just mark them. So we have like four new blocks placed. What are we gonna do with them? The bottom row is gonna get one to the right of them. And the top row is gonna get two to the right of them. Now from the top row, we're gonna go all the way to the right side on the fourth block and above it, we're gonna put one white wool and then three to the right of that. One, two, three. From this new set of four, we're gonna go to the two on the right and put one above each of them. 
and then we're gonna add an extra six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna go down to the right, two flat. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, two flat again. Down to the right, one single. So we have two, one, two, one. And now at this point, we're gonna go down into the right, two vertical, and that's like the center of the forehead crease. So we're gonna eventually arch back up and around to the other side. Once we reach the other side in contact with the other white right there, you guys can outline all sides of this with black wool or black um, coal, even though there's no other coal other than black, but you guys know what I mean, you get the point. Anyways, we're gonna go up from here, four singles, one, two, three, four. We're gonna take the third single and work there because it kind of splits up into two parts and then eventually converges back together. So from the third single, I want you to put one on top of it. And then it creates this R shape like that. And we're gonna go to the third block, this one all the way on the top right of that R shape. And we're gonna put one on top of that and one to the right. So now it's connected into this big chunk of five pieces of wool. Looks kind of like a diagonal M or like an M that's turned on an angle. But what we're gonna do next is we're gonna up and to the right from this whole shape, two flat. And from the two flat, we're gonna go to the right block and we're gonna put one on top of it and put two to the right. We're then gonna go up and to the right, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And underneath that four vertical, we're gonna put one block underneath each of them just to mimic its shape and connect this one to make it like a little farther out. <laughs> but working with that four vertical all the way on the top, we're gonna come back down by going down into the right, three flat, one, two, three. From that three flat, we're gonna go underneath it and put another set of ones. So it like doubled up kind of like what we did with the four flat, we doubled it up down here. And we're gonna double up the three flat as well. Now, what we're gonna do is go down into the right, two flat. Down into the right, four singles. One, two, three, four. Down to the right, two vertical. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, two vertical again. Down to the right, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And now we kind of need to double back real quick and get the other piece going because this one is a little bit too far out to my liking. So let's fly all the way back up to the top where we have the two flat at the bottom right, right here. What we're gonna do is put another layer of two flat on top of this original one. So it connects to what we had directly. And we're gonna kind of mimic what we did right here. So from this two flat now, we're gonna go down to the right, four single, one, two, three, four. Down to the right, two flat. From the right block into two flat, we're gonna put two underneath it. One, two. So this is what we have. Down to the right, one single. Down to the right, three vertical. One, two. And it connects to what we had. And now here's where it gets easier once you have that going. We're gonna go down 13 vertical from the third block from the bottom here. What does that even mean? Find the tip right here and count up three. So one, two, three. And from that third block, we're gonna put one to the right and use that to go 13 down. So this is one, let's go 13 straight down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, easy. Now, how are we gonna meet right here? All we're gonna do is go down into the left. Uh, I would say about four vertical, I think, should, should cover it. One, two, three, four, perfect. Now, if you want to, you can surround each of the white walls with black, but I'm gonna just move on into the eyes because it's a lot easier to do that and make progress. So let me just turn the controller on and we'll continue. So next I wanna tackle the eyes and what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose a nice juicy point 
and we're gonna attack this pixel art head on. So let's go to the left side where we have this starting kind of, you see where we have the bang starting. Underneath it, we should have about a three vertical patch right here. And we're gonna go to the top block in that three vertical. And I want you to add five placement blocks to the right of it. One, two, three, four, five. And then a black wool on the sixth block. Now from that black wool, we're gonna down to the right one single. And that's where we're gonna start the left eye. The right eye can be started later, and the nose can also be started at a future time, so don't worry. So what we're going to do is from the bottom single right here, we're going to down into the right, two flat. Down into the right, three flat. Down into the right, one single. Down into the right, two flat. And this is the lowest point of the left eye, so we have to start going up now and curving it around. Remember, her, right, her left eye is shaped like a heart, so we're going to go up into the right. Two vertical, two times in a row. One, two. One, two. Up and to the right, two flat. Up and to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. And now for the farthest point to the right side, we're going to up and to the right, six vertical. So one, two, three, four, five. No, it fell. Six. And let's start curving it to the left and going up and around. So we're going to up and to the left, one single. Up into the left, six flat. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll just drop down towards the center of the heart because you know hearts have like that little indent. So we're going to go down into the left, one single. Down into the left, four vertical. One, two, three, four. And from the four vertical right there, we're going to go to the top block and put one to the left. We're then going to go to the four vertical right here and go down into the right, two vertical. So that's the crevice right there. Now we need to loop this around and get it to touch down that single over here. So let's go to this left block right here that's sticking out of our four vertical, this one right here. And we're gonna go up and to the left from it, four flat. So one, two, three, four. Remember to delete your placement block. Then we're gonna go down to the left, two flat. So put your placement block underneath. One, two, easy. Down to the left, six vertical. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now just to close out the shape, we're gonna go down to the right, two vertical. And that closed out the heart. Very easy to do. So that's the left eye. So you guys can see what I meant by it's kind of easy to do. Now on the right side of the left eye, where we have the six vertical right here, we're going to go to the bottom block, all the way on the bottom right here. And we're going to put uh, five placement blocks <laughs> to the right of it. One, two, three, four, five. Followed by a black wool or whatever on the sixth block. And that's underneath the six vertical on the bottom block. Now from there, where we have that one single just floating in space. We're gonna put one above, and then we're gonna put one below. And we're gonna start the diamond-shaped eye. So, for the diamond-shaped eye, I wanna go on the bottom first, so we're gonna go down into the right, two singles. Down to the right, two vertical. Down to the right, three vertical. One, two, three. Down to the right, two flat. And from the two flat, we're gonna go to the right side and put one black underneath. And then we're almost at the center point. All we're gonna do is go down into the right one single, and that's the center of the bottom of the eye, so we can start looping back up. Like I said, it's a diamond shape, so it's gonna be pointy on all corners. But let's start with the top left now and just loop that up to its center point too. So let's go back up to our three vertical right here, and we're gonna up and to the right from it, three singles, so placement, one, no, one, two, three, up and to the right, two vertical, up and to the right, two flat, two times in a row, one, two, and that's the center for it. So what we need to do is start going down to the right to a corner, and then down to the left, and we close out the shape, finishing off the eye. So we're going to go down to the right, which means put your placement block underneath, one single, down to the right, two vertical, down to the right, one single. So we have one, two, one. Down to the right, two vertical again. Down to the right, three single. One, two, three. And that's actually the farthest corner here. So all we have to do to finish off this eye is go down into the left until we touch down there. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna go down into the left, five singles. One, two, three, four, five. 
And on the fifth single, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna go up and to the left from it, two singles, just to have like this little crack in her eye. And then we're gonna up and to the left, two vertical, and that's it. And the second thing we're gonna do with that original single is go down and to the left from it, three vertical. So put your placement underneath, one, two, three. And then we're gonna lock out this shape by going down to the left, one single. So that's both eyes. Now moving on to the nose, which is fairly easy to do. We're gonna go to the eye, the left eye, sorry. And where we have this two vertical right here towards the close to the bottom, the two vertical that's in between a flat and a vertical. So hopefully you can locate it. We're gonna go to the bottom block and to the right of it, we're gonna add just like we did before, five placement blocks to the right. One, two, three, four, five. And on the sixth block, we're gonna put a black wool or a coal. So what we're gonna do there is on the left side of it, we're gonna go down to the left three vertical, two times in a row. One, two, three, placement block. One, two, three. And on the right side, we're gonna go down to the right two singles. And then down to the right five vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Now going back to the left side, we're gonna go down to the left one single down to the right two flat up and to the right two flat again except from this second two flat we're gonna do a couple of things first on top of them we're gonna put one on each of them then below it on the right side we're gonna put an extra two going down like so one two we're now gonna go down to the left one single down into the right two flat up into the right one single and then up into the right two vertical and that should lock out the nose so now pretty much every detail is done except for the teeth and also those extra hearts or whatever is supposed to be below the the next to the spade so let's do the teeth first because if i forget to do the hearts and stuff that's okay but the teeth are very important and also yeah so starting from the left side of the mouth we're going to switch to our red wool and what we're going to do first is connect with these two like outer jaw parts so on this two vertical all the way on the bottom right here we're going to put two red on top of it and then go up into left one single and that's it for that tooth now let's go down here to where we have this two vertical from the beginning on the bottom red we're going to put two to the right of it and then we're going to extend each of those two down to the black so extend down extend down easy now we're gonna shift over like two rows so we we shift over one two rows basically oh no I deleted that and on this second row right here is where we're gonna start our next tooth we're gonna put two red going straight up so you see how close it is to our the low one we just finished it's one two over and we have two vertical right here and next to it we're gonna do the same thing except it's gonna be three high and that's that tooth. Very easy to do, guys. It's very, very easy. Same thing. We're going to shift two rows over. So one. And on the second row, we're going to put one like that. Except this one's going to extend over two extra blocks, like so. So it's three long. First block gets ignored. Second and third block, however, are going to get two above each of them. So one, two. One, two. Shift over two rows again, so one, two. And on this second row, we're gonna put one red again. Then one red to the right of that. And we're gonna use that to build the next tooth. So from these two reds, the left one's gonna get two above it, and so is the right one. So one, two, one, two. Then on the right side, the two top blocks are gonna get one to the right of each of them. And then one on top of that. So it just kind of points up extra for no reason. Now we're not gonna shift over two rows. We're actually just gonna shift over one row and connect it at the down and the right angle right here. That's where we're gonna start our next tooth. You see how it's not touching directly, but it's at the diagonal. We're gonna put three flat coming across like this. The first block is gonna get ignored because we don't want it touching the previous tooth, but the second and third block are far enough away that we can add three to the top of them. One, two, three three and that's good 
Now the final two teeth for the bottom row is gonna be where this three vertical is. We're gonna go to the bottom block, put one to the left and one underneath that. And then this corner over here, kind of like we had over there, we're gonna go on top of this two vertical and put one on top of each of them. I mean, sorry, one on, um, two on top of it. Then we're gonna go up into this corner right here and we're gonna put one right there, just right in the corner. So that's her bottom row of teeth. Now we need to jump into the top row. So for the top row of teeth, we're gonna start on the left side again to where we have this two vertical that's above the first set of teeth. We're gonna put one below, above, blah, below each of them. Sorry, I'm talking too fast, I'm gonna slow it down. One, one. And on the right set, we're gonna put one underneath extra. Now shifting over to the next set of three black coals we have right here. The first two are gonna get two reds, I mean one red underneath of them. And what we're gonna do there is on the left red, we're gonna put two going below it, one, two. And on the right red, we're gonna put three going below. One, two, three. Now from the left side, we're gonna go to the two bottom ones and add one red to the left of them, like so. And that's it for that tooth. Now let's shift over to the next partition right here. And you see how we have this one black sticking out? To the left of it, we're just gonna put two reds. So one, one. And below each of those, we're gonna get three going straight down. So one, two, three. One, two, three. And then in the center, we're gonna put one to the left of each of those. Now just shift over, you ignore these gaps that go straight up. There's no teeth lodged in there. Just work with the flats that I have each time. So for the next set is right here where we have this two flat, then another two flat up and to the right from it. We're just gonna go straight across it, starting from this bottom row, four, so like that. And actually, if you want, you can even out the teeth by putting another set of two like that, just making the teeth flat. So from the four, we're gonna skip the first one. Second one and third one are gonna get three below each of them. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And fourth one's gonna get two below it. One, two. Moving on to the next set of teeth where we have this one single right here. We're gonna kind of do what we did over here where we added these extra blocks here. You can put one to the left and one to the right of the, the single right there. So now it's just three flat. And then beneath that three flat, we're gonna put one. So, um, underneath each block gets one red wool, sorry. Now, we're gonna do this same formation two more times, so one, two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with this bottom left corner, and then on the right side, the bottom two blocks over here. So what we're gonna do in the bottom left corner first is put one block underneath it. And on the right side over here, we're gonna put one block to the right of each of these. And that's it for that tooth. I think we only have one more left now. So for the final tooth, we're just gonna go up here into this corner, right here, this like little wedge. And where we have this one single sticking down, we're gonna put two reds to the right of it. And then we're gonna follow this by going two more rows down to the same pattern. So one, two. So that's the mouth complete. Now we have to work on the extra spades that should have been started earlier that are right next to the left and right of this original one that's below her face. So let's just jump right into that. On the left side where we have this two vertical right here, it kind of folds in. What you can do is put one placement block to the left of each of them, and then one red after that, like this. And that's where we're gonna start the left spade. So what we're gonna do first from this two vertical is we're gonna up and to the left two single, up and to the right two flat. And from the two flat, we're gonna go to the right block and put an extra two on top. One, two, and this is not at the diagonal, this is directly touching. We're next gonna go up and to the left one single. Up and to the left two flat. Down to the left two single, one, two. Up and to the left three flat. And there goes the controller. I keep forgetting to check in on, on it. Um, that's my fault, sorry. So from the three flat, we're gonna go down into the left. Let me just swap these blocks, there we go. Down to the left, three, four vertical, sorry. 
one, two, three, four. And from the bottom block in the four vertical, we're just gonna add an extra two to the right. It's a very small shape, but it's just very tedious to do. Anyways, we're gonna down it to the right to put your place block underneath, two vertical. And from that two vertical on the bottom block, we're gonna do two things. First, we're gonna go down into the left from it, two flat. And on the right block in that two flat, we're just gonna add one to the bottom. Then working on that same bottom block, on the right side, we're gonna go down into the right one single. We're then gonna go down into the right two vertical. And from that two vertical on the bottom block, we're gonna add an extra two to the right. And then we're gonna go up and to the right one single to finish it off. So that's the left side. The right side spade is where we're gonna start. We're gonna go to where we have the same two vertical on the right side, like kind of how we have it over there. And we're gonna put one placement block to the right of each of them. But we're only gonna put a red onto the right of the top one now, like so. Now from that red, we're gonna put an extra red on top and we'll start the spade from there. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go down into the right from it to underneath, place some block, two vertical. And from that new two vertical, we're gonna locate the bottom block right here and add an extra three red wool going to the right. One, two, three. Now it's time to raise it up. So we're gonna be going up and to the right, two singles, one, two, down into the right two vertical. And from the two vertical, we're gonna put one block to the right of the top block and one block on top of the top block. So it looks like this now. Now we're gonna to go to the left side and work our way back around the shape and eventually meet up in that corner right there. So what we're gonna do is find a two vertical right here and we're gonna put one to the right of it on the top block. We're then going to go up and to the right, one single. No, I did that wrong. There we go. Up and to the left, one single. Up and to the left, two vertical. One, two. Up and to the right, one single. Up and to the right, two flat. Down and to the right, two vertical. down into the right one single and we're almost done it's like it's like three clover things so we have two we just need the third clover and it's gonna touch down there so all we're gonna do is mimic this shape over here we're gonna go up and to the right the same two vertical again and now we need to round it out so on the top block we're gonna put two to the right we're then gonna go down into the right four vertical one two three four and from the bottom block into four vertical we're gonna put two to the left. One, two. But we still need to close this shape out and there's only one block we need to fill in to close it out. So all we're gonna do is go down into the left one single and lock the shape out. And that is it guys, you've completed the Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad pixel art tutorial. I'm gonna jump into the finished build to show you guys what it should color like. But if you guys know the thumbnail, it should be easy enough. But I'm still gonna do it for those of you who might want to see the finished build. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we're here now with the finished build, and we're only going to be using four colors, cyan, red, white, and black. And I kind of outlined everything with coal, but hopefully, if you guys want, you can color it in with coal, otherwise you can color it in black wool. But let's just move right into the build. So starting from the bottom, the entire clover thingy we had right here, and I actually didn't do the tip part of it, I just realized I'm an idiot. It's supposed to be black. Um, on yours, there should be a tail right there. I did the tail for you guys, but not for myself. I'm a bad artist. <laughs> Then on the left and right side, those are going to be colored in red. Um, we already colored in the teeth, but around it, the bottom jaw and the top of the face is going to be all black wool, as you can see. Um, these holes right there are supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be filling those in. Maybe you can build this on a wall or something like that, and the wall behind it would fill in those gaps. Anyways, the nose is going to be all white wool. So are the eyes. And then after that, the only other white wool should be that frame we have, like this little arch in her head, which... Around it is going to be all black wool as well. Then on the tips of the hair is where we bring out the red wool on the left side to color the little scrunchie right there along with the flame tips. And in between the scrunchie and the flame tips is all black. 
And then on the left side with the cyan wool, same thing over here. The scrunchie's gonna be cyan, the tips are gonna be cyan, and then all the area in between is just gonna be black, just like her hair. So, if you've gotten that far, you've completed the Harley Quinn Pixlar tutorial. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy. And let me know in the comment section anything I could have done better or what you want to see built next. But this is Phoenix, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Bye.